So what's the best predictor of our happiness? Is it money? Is it fame? Is it the car you drive? Well, it turns out that the single best predictor of our happiness is the quality of our human relationships. And a study that started in the 1930s out of Boston confirms this. This study took a group of men and followed them up every two years across the course of their life. And there's still a large group of these men who are still alive today. And it turns out that the number one predictor of their happiness was the quality of their relationships to people, above and beyond things like their income level or what kind of car they drove. And it also turns out that it protected them against negative health outcomes, heart disease and degenerative brain disorders as well. So what's the takeaway here? Well, first of all, the neuroscience of this is that from a cave person perspective, the safety in numbers. So if we go back all the way to when our brain evolved, if there was a saber toothed tiger floating around, we were much safer when we were in a group of people. This group of people would protect us. So ultimately what this means is our stress systems have responded as such to say that when there's people around us, we're safer. And this down regulates our stress response and engages our smart brain areas. And this is really where happiness originates. I'm Dr. Dave, and I'll see you next time.